Today, we are going to learn about long division in a proper fraction. But first, I'm sure many of you are wondering, why is it so important? Why do we need to learn this method of long division? Well, have you ever wondered how an engineer designs a complex structure like the roller coaster or a bridge? Or have you ever wondered how the software engineer designs his very own unique application and games? Your favorite ever PUBG? Yes, all of these need long division. First of all, we need to know when we need to use long division. Long division can only be used when the fraction is improper fraction. So, let's refresh. What is improper fraction? An improper fraction is a fraction which has a numerator that is bigger than its denominator. Dear me, what is happening right here? Hmm, these are not proper. So, now let's practice. In the three sets of fractions, which fraction is an improper fraction? Remember, improper fraction is when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Ah, that's right! The second fraction is the improper fraction because 3 is greater than 1. So now, in the real world, as with the engineers, an improper fraction comes in a polynomial. Improper fractions or polynomials is when the power of x of the numerator is greater than the denominator. So now, we already know how to differentiate between proper and improper fractions. Now, let's move to long division of improper fractions. Long division requires long steps. I'm going to give you this formula first. Remember it, because we are going to use it later. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Division, multiply, subtract, check. Bring it down. There are two types of fraction, which are proper and improper. For proper fraction, the question will be in linear factor or repeated linear factor or quadratic factor. For improper fraction, we must use long division which have two situations. First situation need you to stop and second one need you to proceed. 